Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mengs, and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play Advanced Force Gamma. It's time to jump into the next mission of the Blue Moon campaign. I'm gonna get my money back for that plane. This is becoming troublesome, Richie's massive funds. Even without a CO power, his money is a threat on its own. Richie has no CO powers? I thought money was his power. It's not a real power, fool. Any idiot can throw money around. So we get rid of him then. I have just a plan to do it. Let's hope that you do, Volkner. Alright, let's go. Uh, mission 10. Aerial illusion. Ooh. Beautiful day for a flight on my private jet, eh? How are you this rich? You weren't back in the day. Oh, it was the stock market. I invest in the right people. <laughs> you sure it's just that? Sound like it could be more... Oh, what's this, Jack? The enemy! Your luck is about to run out, Commanders. My foot soldiers are about to launch a missile salvo. Once they input the detonation code to enough cities... Uh, same plan as last time. Jack, it's your turn. That's it. I got an idea on how to get into the cities. They'll never see it until it's too late. Ha 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 That's right. All according to plan. Alright, we got a new CO, a new map. This is supposed to be a capture battle. So, uh, the enemy only needs five more cities to win, so... Okay, yeah, I, I already see. I already see how this is gonna go. Ooh, there's a lab over here. Um, let's take a look at a new CEO, shall we? Jack, Blue Moon's resident stage magician. His tricks fool the enemy into many a battle. Hit showing off, Miss Humility. His day-to-day -day is units that can carry other units have plus 10 defense power. Foot soldiers have minus 10 attack power. Ooh. So he gets plus 10 defense on his transports, minus 10% firepower on his infantry. That is a garbage day-to-day. -day. His normal power is magic trick. Units inside transporters may move instantly after they leave the transporter. Make sure you load before you use this. Ah! It's Lily from Mang Sensor. I knew we from got that idea from somewhere. So this is this is really bad in any like competitive play, but in, in in missions, like in campaign missions, you can absolutely cheese map with this power. It's really strong, actually. And his superpower is yeah, I figured it's a copy of Lily's superpower as well. Showstopper. Foot soldiers teleport into empty transporters. There's no way of knowing which units goes where, but they can move right after they unload too. Yeah, so. This guy is a, a classic example of a CO that's utter garbage in, in, like, any kind of PvP. Unless it's, like, a very cheesy map where he can, like, HQ cap, but... Um, but for a map like this, it's absolute godlike because he can capture right after moving off his transports. That's really cool. So, let's take the terms, route the enemy or capture the HQ. Capture the lab for a pipe runner. Ooh! A pipe runner! Huh. Would you look at that? Okay, so... So this is a capture battle, uh, I'm guessing, yeah, he has infantry here moving over to these cities. So if we don't, we need to take his cities away from him. And that's kind of important, actually. So, what we gotta do then is we gotta get the bombers in range. We also gotta break through here at some point, so I say we just move our battleships forward immediately. Yeah, I, I see how this map works. We have to, like, continually prevent them from getting too many cities. Uh, we can move the cruisers. We can also, like, one thing. And this is actually kind of funny. If I'm not mistaken, if we load a mech in transport copter into a cruiser and we pop his power, I believe we can move the cruiser, unload the transport copter, move the trans <laughs> transport copter, unload the transport copter, or sorry, unload the mech, and then move the mech in capture. I actually think that is a possibility. I'm not sure. It might only... Wait, let me see what... Let me read the description of his powers. Yeah, it says units inside any transporter may move immediately. So, as long as we load them up first, we can actually do some wacky things with this power. Some absolutely incredible things, in fact. So, that's actually really funny, and I, I look forward to trying to use that. Uh, but yeah, we want, we want maybe two infantry over here, actually. And maybe just to be funny, we can do this immediately. Yep, we can do this immediately. And uh, what should we do with this cruiser, I wonder? Just leave it here, I guess? We obviously need to kill the missile, that's kind of important. Let's see what happens here. Alright, so Volkner has four bombers, a bunch of fighters, and some submarines. Looks pretty scary. 
but some of them are defensive, which is good. This is a clever mission. I like it. Alright, so we... Do we actually need to destroy... We can probably destroy the Empire like this. Yeah, we can, we can go for the Empire first and do this, and then... The missile has a minimum range, so we can do this. There we go. And we also need the bottle. Okay, we actually need to pull the battleship back now, I think. Yeah, we need to pull the battleship back. This is actually kind of scary. Um, yeah, we need to draw the uh, we need to draw the fighters out of range of the missile. So we actually do need to we need to be very careful about how we position ourselves here, actually. I wish you could view global ranges in Advanced Wars. That would be so nice. Yeah, we gotta save. We gotta save this. Uh, we gotta save this this particular part of the map for later. Actually, we do need the cruiser for this too. I think the cruiser is going to be pretty instrumental in dealing with the uh, the fighters. So I'm gonna do this. Yeah, this works for me. The bomber's not in range. There we go. The, the missile's not in range either of the bomber, so we can keep the bomber here. Yeah, we gotta be careful. But, yeah, th those properties are gonna creep up on me pretty quickly, I think. Yeah, look at that. He's got two more properties already, so... This is a tricky mission, actually. Okay, there are the submarines. That kind of complicates things. I gotta get away from them. I guess I can shoot them with the battleship, but... There's a lot of bombers coming in here as well, so... Uh, okay, so we go fighter to fighter, probably. Yeah, probably. Uh, we have to start capturing the city this turn, I think, because he, he, only three cities away. Ooh. Uh, what I could do, though, if I use his superpower, these mechs should teleport into the transport copters. Which should be pretty smart. So I think what we'll do is we will attack the fighters first, like so. Kill the, uh, kill the fighters. So now his entire is pretty much worthless. But yeah, we have to... What we have to do is... We have to trick the bombers, I think. We can actually shield... I actually have a pretty funny idea here. Yeah, we will... What we will do is we will shield the bombers with the transports. Like so. And then we can use... We can even use our own... Oh, that's bad. My battleship might be toasts. Maybe. Yeah, I may have fucked up. Uh, I may have fucked up greatly, but we'll see how it goes. This battleship might be dead now. Probably is, honestly. Well, actually, I can I can attack the... Uh, he doesn't have any fighters left, so... I can kill the submarine like this. And then we gotta blast up on this pipe scene. This is a tricky mission, actually. A very tricky mission. So I'm pretty sure Volkner will use his superpower this turn. That's gonna drain the ammo of, of all of his bombers, actually. Including this missile, too. So, we'll see how it goes. Can you survive my attack? Alright, I, I think my battleship might be dead. Which is kind of bad, because I need that thing to break open pipe seams. Okay, the missiles... Oh, no, my transport copter. Aww. Yeah, that's what I was kind of worried about. Oh, both? Both my battleships. Oh. I think I may have just lost the mission. Oh, boy. This is a tricky mission. Okay, so... Here's the question that I'm wondering. Okay, so... His bombers are actually useless now. There is really no need for me to worry about them anymore. So I'm wondering if I use my normal power, I load the I can unload the infantry and capture immediately. So I think that might yeah, also hit, all of his missiles just ran out of ammo, so I don't actually need to worry that much about them anymore. Which is actually pretty funny, but yeah, that's Yeah, I do need to worry about that bomber. I also need to worry about this, uh, this battlecopter. I, 
could have popped my normal power, but I just get defense out of it anyway, so. Yeah, so here what I could do is I could, um, I think I'm actually gonna hold on to my power for just another turn, actually. Just another turn. I actually see some pretty hilarious shit I can do with it. I also want to check out the cruiser thing. But yeah. Oh, he will actually pull his... Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, he might pull his own missiles back next turn. Losing both my battleships kind of suck, not gonna lie. Oh, he's actually pulling his missiles back. That's funny. Okay, there's the submarine. I guess it's kind of useless right now. All right, so this is kind of, okay, uh, right. If I use my normal power, I can start both of these captures in the same turn. I think I will do that. They're already loaded in. So, so if I load them off, yeah, I, I would love to see if the normal power allows me to load the, do the cruiser trick, but I don't think it's really needed right now, so. Alright, I'll pop my normal power. Remain in your seats, because the show's just getting started. Ephraim has a big thing for magicians and cards. You can you can probably see that. He loves card games. Alright, so then we do this. That's a that's a cute little trick, I will admit. A very cute cute little trick. And I guess it's probably not a bad idea to kill these guys. And might as well kill the kill the submarine as well. There we go. And yeah, these units are completely worthless. There's not really any point. Uh, I do need to destroy... Oh, oh. Is there any way I can destroy the missile? I might have to go for the HQ cap rank right now, actually. Does he have a, any fighter? He doesn't. He doesn't have a single fighter here, so... As long as I can get all these dusters over here, I can just go to town on his HQ. And then we can bring a... What we can do, it's just kind of funny, is we can... We can bring an empty transport copter all the way up here, use our superpower to teleport it into it, and then go for the HQ cap. I actually think that's what I want to do. It actually sounds like a... I can't get through this pipe sleep anymore because I lost both my battleships. So, that kind of sucks a little bit. You know what? I'm actually going to delete my APC. And the reason I'm going to delete my APC is I don't want the mech to go in there. What a brain twister of a map. This might be one of my favorite missions so far in Advanced Alpha. This is a really clever way of utilizing both CO's um, strengths, actually. I really like it. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to... kind of want to save up for my superpower, not going to lie. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can get my superpower here. I probably will once I start going to town on these bombers. As well as the, and I can also use my dusters to hit the, uh, let's, let's just kill the, the missile before it resupplies. My bombers are actually kind of, I maybe shouldn't have deleted my, you know what, I'm just gonna fight these guys to get power charge. And then I'm gonna bring a sol solitary transport copter down, use my superpower to teleport my mechs into it. And then we're gonna have some fun. So, uh, we, we do need a lot more power charge, though, if we're gonna do this, so we need to start attacking. There we go. Hell, what we could do is we could put a duster in range. That would actually be kind of funny. But yeah, we have, we have two shots left on our bomber, so that's... We can see... Let's get the pipe runner, at least. That could be fun. That could actually be a lot of fun. Do, 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 do. We could sack a, a duster to get some power charge. Might not be such a bad idea, honestly. I don't know if dusters get one shot by missiles. I guess it's it's time to find out. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Wait a minute. Was I able to load that infantry off and capture just now? Because I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to be able to do that outside of your CO power. Oh no, Volkner's terrifying superpower. What am I going to do? Drain all of his ammo. Oh no. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to happen. 
Yeah, that duster is definitely dead. There we go. So my technique ranking may suffer again, but I'm honestly completely fine with this. I just want to see what the pipe runner does, really. All right, let's uh, get some superpower. There we go. So, <laughs> so what we can do then is, uh, if, I wish we had more range. Actually, should have had these further in. I might still be able to do that. Actually. Okay, this is this is a real brain twister, but I, I think if I if I do this, can the can the mix end up inside a transport copter inside the cruiser? I wonder. Anyway, let's just see how the, what the pipe runner does first. Oh, there we go. Pipe runner units are available from labs only and move only on pipe terrain. That's cute. Yeah, it works exactly like it does in uh, in the older games. That's that's kind of cute. All right, I'm gonna check if I move this in. And I used my superpower. Okay, how many transports do we have? We have this one and this one. So honestly, we probably want to delete this transport because we have two mechs. That means one should go in here. One should go in here. I can move, unload, move, unload, capture. Let's try it. This should be fun. Now it's time for my next trick. I'm really curious if it's gonna work the way I think it works now. Okay, I think it I think it did work. And then the cruiser goes here, drops off the transport copter. The transport copter goes here, drops off the mech. The mech... <laughs> How funny is that? <laughs> oh, the bomber is out of ammo, oops. Okay, that is legitimately the most hilarious thing I've ever seen. Oops. That is the, the most hilarious thing I've ever seen. What what a fun CO, what a fun map. All right, let's see what the pipe runner animations look like. I'm not expecting much, honestly, but... No, no, I don't want to save. Oh, I guess, I, guess I'm saving now. I, I was just gonna check out the, uh, the pipe runner animations. Okay, they just look like battle copters, that's fair. That is fair. All right, well, looks like I did it. <laughs> this is a, an incredibly funny mission. I, I like it a lot. All right, let's capture the HQ. Well done, Richie. Lord Sturm was right to request your assistance. So you're with him, are you? What's your objective? Wait a minute, Sturm requested help from Richie? Indeed he did. The previous war couldn't start otherwise. <laughs> Using Richie was indeed an ingenious tactical maneuver. Richie, he's gotta be lying, right? I mean, he's simply mistaken. It is I who used Sturm. What? As you know, Orange Star and Blue Moon were bitter rivals, but Orange Star forcefully recruited Olaf to their side. Blue Moon was no threat to them without their ace in the hole. Sturm was willing to back Blue Moon, however, if Olaf rejoined us. It was I who neg negotiated Olaf's de defection, a boy from Olaf's home. Richie, you didn't. That led directly to another war. Indeed, and war means big business for arms dealers, isn't that right? Oh, no! The stock market can make anyone a billionaire if they have the foresight. They call it War's World, but Orange Star had stole the war inconsiderably. It was simply a matter of buying low and selling high with Orange Star. Oh, no! And I knew Orange Star couldn't possibly lose to all of us term in the end, and so I got revenge on Blue Moon for conscripting you, Jack Bonus! A scheme worthy of the Black Hole Army. You can, of course, join us at any time. Are you quite finished with your rambling? Not until I see you fools pummeled to dust, which should be any moment now. Yes, yes! Huh? What's that? Jack, watch out! Mission what? complete! What happened? Did he die? Ooh, that's still an S-rank! Oh, you see the total glitched out a little bit there. That's kind of funny. I won. That's it. We won. Story, the writing gets cornier with every mission, uh, but uh, the, this map was clever. It's a very clever way to utilize both CO mechanics and the enemy CO mechanics, really. Like, the fact that Volkner drinks his own ammo makes him very scary when he pops his super, but then he loses all of his gas, so... That's actually really clever. Really well done. This is by far my favorite mission so far. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye